Hi, I'm Adam, and I'm an information developer at GE Vernova. In this video, I'm going to show you how to register Configuration Hub to use with iFix. To set up Config Hub, you will need to enable iFix security, register Config Hub for iFix, and configure group membership for a Prophecy Authentication user to log in to Config Hub. Before proceeding with the setup of Config Hub, you should have configured both IGS and Historian, and then restarted your iFix workspace. Within the iFix workspace, click the Applications tab. In the System and Security group, click Security, and then select the Security Configuration Utility. This will launch the Security Configuration application with an image of an unlocked padlock on a display monitor. From the Edit menu, select Configuration. This will open the Configuration dialog. Select Enabled, and then click OK. The padlock in the image will now show as locked. From the File menu, select Exit. You will be prompted to save the change security configuration. Click Yes. A security dialog asking you to log in will appear. Click OK. The login dialog will now appear. Enter the default iFix username and password, admin, admin. It is recommended that you change the password after determining your security strategy. Click Login. The Login dialog will indicate that the login was successful. Click OK. A security dialog will appear to notify you that the default accounts exist and to recommend you replace them with new accounts. Click OK. Within the iFix workspace, click the Applications tab. In the Configuration Hub group, click Register. This will bring up the iFix plugin registration page. Enter the same default credentials as you did when you enabled iFix security earlier, that is, admin for both the username and password, and click Login. This will bring up the Configuration Hub server registration page. Note that to complete this page, you will need the client names and IDs you would have noted when you installed the integrated installer's common components. Since we previously installed iFix, Historian, and Configuration Hub on the same computer, the server name and server port fields should be filled with auto-detected values. Leave these as is. Beside the Configuration Hub server name, you want to see that it is trusted. If it is not, click the Test Server Connection button and then the Not Trusted icon. A dialog will appear showing the certificate details. Click Trust. Now enter the client ID and secret that you used for Configuration Hub when you ran the integrated installer. Now, Trust the server and enter the same credentials for the Prophecy Authentication server. When both servers are trusted and the client IDs and secrets have been entered for each, click Register. The Configuration Hub server registration dialog will appear to indicate the registration was successful. Click OK. To log into Configuration Hub, you will need a Prophecy Authentication user with group membership configured. In this section, we will configure the default user ch underscore admin. Within the iFix workspace, click the Applications tab. In the Configuration Hub group, click Configuration Hub. A Chrome browser should open with the welcome screen displayed. Enter the username ch underscore admin and the password entered as the client secret for the Prophecy Authentication user when you installed the integrated installer's common components. Click Sign In to launch Configuration Hub. In the navigation pane, click Security. This will open a Security Prophecy Authentication tab. From this tab, click Users. Next, click the ch underscore admin user to select it. This will bring up the Details pane. Click the Group Membership icon to bring up the Group Membership dialog. To allow access to Configuration Hub, be sure that the ch underscore admin user is a member of the group SCADA.IFIX underscore shared dot application underscore designer. If necessary, you can provide membership to other groups at this point. When you are finished, click Apply. For the changes to take effect, close and restart your Chrome browser. This concludes the demonstration on how to register Configuration Hub to use with iFix. Thank you for watching.